Hi, I'm Ricky Perrin with Josephine County Emergency Management, and I met with Quinn's Well Service recently to discuss what needs to happen to your pump should the power go out in order for you to have uh, water in your home. Unless you have a backup system hardwired into your house, you will not be with water until power has been turned back on. If you have an alternate um, source of power like solar or a generator, that will also work. But once the power has disrupted the service, there's something that you have to do to your pump potentially to restore that um, service of water into your home. After we had the Merlin power outage recently, it was for maintenance, it was just for a few hours, but what that caused was some of those wells to not produce water after the power was turned back on. And there's just a simple thing that you need to do, but Quinn's is gonna show us what that is so that next time that happens, you'll be able to restore water to your home without anybody's assistance. During a power outage, if you're on a well, you will not have a water service. Um, there are a couple options that we can talk about later, uh, generator backup systems, solar, um, or manual type stuff that can be done. Um, when power is restored, not that everybody has one, but we're going to talk about an M4 pressure switch. An M4 pressure switch has got a little arm on the side of it that needs to be reset to give your pump power. This little arm onto the side if you lift up slightly until you see the points come together and you'll hear uh, water start to run and you'll also see a little bit of a spark on those points, that means that it's sending power to your pump and you should feel the pipes vibrating with water going through it. If you lift up on that arm too far, it'll actually shut the power off. The little arm will have some tension against your fingers so they are a little hard at the beginning but just slightly lift up until those points come together, feel or hear the water start to go through there. And then as your pressure tank builds pressure, that arm will actually relieve a little pressure on your fingers and then you'll know to release it and you should be back into water. During a power outage, if you do not have an automatic generator backup system or a portable generator backup system with a cord and a plug, we have the Simple Pump. The Simple Pump is a standalone system that goes alongside your submersible pump. It's up rated around five gallons per minute on consistent uh, pumping. It can actually run water into your pressure tank via a garden hose, or it can run garden hose into any type of water reservoir. It is plumbed into your potable water system coming from your well, so you do not need to store water during a power outage. You can use it on demand of when it's needed. In the event of a scheduled power outage, whether that is for maintenance or it's for a public safety power shutdown, fill buckets, fill your bathtub. Don't forget if you have a pool or a spa, that's a source of water for cleaning, not for drinking. Um, even though you can purify that water, it's not the best source for drinking, but you can use it to flush toilets. Um, by pouring it in the storage tank in the back, and then you'll have one flush, or you can use it and force of gravity, throw it into the bowl, and it will, it will force everything out of the bowl and, and flush in that way. If you're having pump issues and you're looking at this well seal, this well seal actually holds your submersible pump, and then there's some things you do not want to do. These bolts right here, if you remove these bolts, there's plates underneath that can fall into the well. And sometimes you cannot get your pump out or they get lodged in there, or you have to call a professional to technically fish your system out. If you can get the system out, you can put it back together and put it back in there, which gives you water. Worst case scenario, if you can't get it out and there's pieces lodged in there, the well is non-usable and we need to seek a well driller for professional help. Thank you, Quinns, for helping us out and answering some questions and helping the community get prepared for any kind of um, a power outage event. If you guys have any questions, please give Quinns a call at 541-772-7867.